um, the chat is going to be off for a little bit while I do we'll get back into the swing of things while I get into um, teaching a lesson uh, for everyone uh, first and then we'll do a chat. Now this lesson itself is, <clears throat> again, if you're watching this in the replay, it'll be a lesson with no chat and then I'll discuss. So if you're here in the live chat, stick around. We do have a lot to talk about. So um, first and foremost, um, I, have, I have very, very sad news, which is uh, um, if any of you have seen my um, my video of Franklin's Tower or my, um, what is it? Oh my God, my uh, relative major, relative minor. You will have seen um, my cat Quinn, and uh, just a couple days ago, unfortunately, it was one of the saddest days of my life. I had to put Quinn down, and um, here is to Quinn. So just know that that cat changed my life, and uh, it's kind of responsible for developing stitch method. So here's a little drink of coffee to him. Mm. Now let's get on with um, our lesson. So really quickly, I posted a video, one of my the professional stitch method videos, and. Um, and uh, it was about how to how to use some parallel mode thinking in terms of um, major and minor with some G, D, and C, and C stuff. And I, and from the reviews, from the comments, I could see that it opened up a lot of people's eyes. It gave them a new perspective on stuff. And um, and um, I just want to share with all of you that you can dive deeper. And I just want to get into that too. So um, I want um, <coughs> um, I, I wanted to kind of get into that really quickly. If you have a guitar, um, I gotta move this over. I'm like cramped right now. I'm probably gonna move this camera over here a little bit so you can see the infamous shelf. There it is. Okay. So in this video, really quickly, um, I know this title has a lot of stuff on it. Um, you know, you can play G's, C's, and D's. And if you have an acoustic guitar, you can lay down some soloing first. I uh, will layer it. You know, you can use a G major pentatonic, right? Any notes you're gonna do. Same pentatonic. You know, we can do this. That's just some fancy pentatonic stuff. The D. Right. Okay, so now, all I was doing there was some G, C, and D with the G major pentatonic. Now, uh, as you know, I'm slowly getting into some bluegrass. I'm gonna give away some like bluegrass secrets, but the thing is that I ain't no bluegrass player, um, and I'm gonna go slow, and I'm ill-prepared for this live feed, and I'm kinda bummed. But anyway, so let's just do this and have some fun. Number one, um, you can mix the major scale. So just like I showed you in that video, you know, you can do the full major scale. Oh, and that's not <laughs> You know, you can do all that fun stuff. And it sounds fine, right? You know, there's the major. And now if you want to get funky with it, you can um, use the, um, the G Mixolydian. Again, if I'm going too fast, do watch the video from this week um, about parallel modes. And all I was doing uh, in that was, was put, um, <laughs> all I was doing was putting the, um, the Mixolydian because you can treat the G as the five to the one of the C. And then when you get back to the D, you can add, you can go back to that, that um, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, G major. So if you do that, you know, if you're holding the chord, you know, First of all, the, the mixolydian. Sorry, it's gonna be the F there and the F here, right? So the sound of mix. The, sorry, the sound of bluegrass, by the way. And and and, you know, I'm getting into it slowly, but I I am not afraid to make my observations at all. Um, the sound of bluegrass to me is when you when the guitar players throw the mixolydian on top of these ones, fours, and fives, not the major. And I think I in my in my mind that's the distinction between. Um, it, that's a distinction between like country and bluegrass. Is that mixolydian mindset on top of the one four five G mixolydian? Really? You know, just that note. That, that F that instead of the F sharp in the, in the mixolydian. So if you have an acoustic guitar, you can play your G's, C's, and D's, but on top of the G's and C's, you put the mixolydian. So you know, something to the extent of like. the power of that mixolydian. But now, let's get a little further. Let's just talk about the Dorian, and it's probably like, er, everything is stopped. Like, why would we even think, Ian, about putting 
a Dorian on top of that? Well, because that's what blues bluegrass players do. And I want to talk about this very quickly. Um, if you are a Grateful Dead fan or not, and if you if you have seen any of my Grateful Dead videos, you know that Jerry Garcia, who is one of my favorite guitar players, was a bluegrass player. And one of the sounds of bluegrass is taking the minor third home. Like you take that minor third home, and um, and the sound of the minor third coming home, you know, coming into a G. So you have this G, and you can play mixolydian. Ooh. You know, uh, give me some time. The C. You got to go back to G, and I'm playing mixolydian. It's hard to speak into all this. Uh, to the D, sorry. And now, C, and I'm going to show you this. That little, that little note, that's the sound of the minor third, okay, which uh, the minor third, and if you guys have seen my videos, and I know I'm moving very fast, um, you, you get this, uh, the mixolydian is the major scale with the flat seven, and the Dorian is the mixolydian with a flat three. So to get that true bluegrass sound, you gotta have what we call the mixodorian scale, but there's more to it. So this mixodorian scale is the G, um, it's the G, Mix it in, but you can add the minor third, but we don't just haphazardly use the minor third. You use the minor third to come home. And um, one of the most famous lines. Um, really? Actually, no, that's, that's not the minor third. Don't listen to me that, <laughs> at all. Uh, that's a very famous bluegrass ending. But what I want to say is when you come home to the one is when you're going to throw the minor third in. So the minor third is here. Okay? It's right next to your flat seven. These two notes that aren't in the pentatonic. You have this... <laughs> that really go? Did I, did I, did I, is everything still there? My phone just rang, which was really stupid. I don't know why my phone rang. Hopefully it's still going. Just let me know. Give me some shout-outs if, if you're still there. Um, i got to watch this now. Um, so now, um, where was I? Do so you have this G pentatonic? Okay, good. The mix of Lydian notes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, the flat 7, which is the F. Uh, the minor 3rd, which is the B flat. Okay. Oh no, it's right here. Yeah, the B flat. Don't listen to me. That is that is the minor third. I, I've had a rough couple of days. That the, my the passing of my cat, as you know, just traumatized me, and my brain has not been the same. So the B flat is your minor third. The F is your flat seven. The F belongs to Mixolydian. The B flat belongs to the Dorian. I know it sounds like what the heck are you talking about? It's probably will not be my best live feed. But let, let, let me explain. You have the one, four, and five. The G, C, and D. Easy enough. Uh, G major pentatonic. We get fancy, play the G major. That's gonna fit. You wanna get even fancier, just like in the video, you can throw the mixolydian on it. Oh. oh, sorry. And now if you want to get the true bluegrass sound, you're gonna add the minor third, and you get this incredible scale called the Mixodorian uh, scale. And it has, um, really, it has uh, the flat seven, and I'm gonna, I'll show it to you, you know, in its completion. Flat seven has the uh, the minor third, but the problem is you can't just haphazardly use these things. You can use the flat seven a lot on the G and the C. When you get to the D, you want to switch back to your G major, and then any time you know you're coming home to a G, you can add that minor third. Okay, and again, here's that very famous bluegrass ending. And that's the G to the minor third, up to the major third. All right. So when you're playing some bluegrass, I'm gonna go slow and I'm gonna screw everything up because I'm not in the mindset right now. But you know, you can you can play. Let's see, mix the lick in. Still to mix lick in. Back to the D, G major, C, the mixolydian, G, a little bit of Dorian. Oh. Uh, please pardon me how much I suck today. All right, so now. I hope that all made sense. The whole purpose of this is uh, when you see these combined scales, which you've all seen them before, the Mixodorian blue scale, Mixodorian scale, this, 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 and that. 
it, it's more about which scale to use the moment, but you lay, they, everyone lays them on top of each other on a chart, and it's like, whoa, that's like has you know 14 notes, what do I do? And, it, it, and you can't just play them haphazardly, you have no what to do. So here, if, you, if you're interested in jamming on top of GCs and Ds with your acoustic, and you're on your front porch chewing on a piece of straw and having fun, give me one second to sip my magical elixir. Mm. Uh, you want to know the scale. So here we go. So third fret of the E, and then there's your pentatonic. That is your minor third. That's your major third. Open D, second fret um, was uh, so D, and then here's your F, third fret of the, uh, of the mixolydian. And then we have G, A, here's your uh, B flat again, which is the minor third. Okay, take notes. Um, open B, which is the major third. C, D, E, F is the mixolydian. If you want to throw in, uh, the F sharp in there, you can, but you just just make sure you really do it on top of the D chord because it really works well. And the G. Now, all those guys here... Um, uh, yes, I can see it if you say hi. Um, all these guys here are game. you got to know when to use them. Flat sevens for the Gs and Cs. Minor thirds, that, that, that B flat. When you want to come back home to a, um, a G. And when you're on the D, you can use your, your, uh, your G major pentatonic, but you can also throw in the F sharp. Now, I have more to talk about, but I, again, I'm in a fog. And as some of you know, like just that cat changed my life. And he's gone, and it sucks. Um, so, um, that makes sense. <laughs> I'm going to sit here and... I'll wait for I'll wait for your uh, your chat. I'm gonna drink some more coffee. Oh, uh, the question was what happened to the guitar we're selling? I think it's sold. Uh, somebody <laughs> somebody contacted me and um, they they are they are actually uh, have it right now um, and they're holding on to it. Um, no no we're not we're not at the end yet. We're gonna keep on talking. Okay so hey Cody uh, Cook really quickly we're gonna get to another lesson. Cody I just got your text. I will review what you um <clears throat> what you said um, what you sent me uh, after this is done. So we're going to move to the second part of this lesson before we get to a story, and then we'll have questions. So now, really quickly, you probably saw that the um, the title of this live stream is uh, something um, about Mixo, Dorian Major, and gang signs. So I want to talk about gang signs. Um, <laughs> why, why are we talking about gang signs? Um, I was, um, I was, uh, <laughs> that's some dark coffee it is. I was um, ta talking to a lot of students this week, a lot of in-person students, and, and, and some of them are quite new and some of them will season, but we're, we're getting into, you know, playing other people's songs, and when you do that, you got to talk about having your ingredients. Now, most of you watching, we all have our basic ingredients down when it comes to chords. You know, major chords, minor chords, seventh chords, those are the things that we're going to be really focusing on. Um, and when you play other songs, you might get some, you know, uh, seven sharp eleven, seven sus four, and the thing is, is... Um, we're not going to talk about those. So, really quickly, what I want to do, and the first one that appears is what I'm going to do. And we're still this is a lesson, but I got to address my um my uh, live feeders here, which is I want somebody to name a number, not yet, just wait. Name a number one through twelve, and then a uh, a letter name. Okay, so actually no no I lied to you. Well yeah okay so uh, go for it. one through twelve and a letter name. Go ahead. Let's see. The first one that pops up. Let's see is it there? Da -da -da -da. Hold on one second. I have nothing on the chat. Uh, okay, 12, 12F. I'm not okay. So, <laughs> Lucas, 12F. Hold on for one second. <laughs> Sweetie, are you online? <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> I hope that uh, this is very bad connection. So I hope it's not too bad. Um, all right. So 12F was it. And so what that was to me was let's play uh, an F chord around the 12th fret. And the F chord around the 12th fret looks like this. Okay, so I'm talking about this. It's my gang sign. All right. I know the shape. Um, I know the shape uh, in my head of what these chords are supposed to look like and feel like before I do it. So you can see, like, there's my F chord, right? Okay. And so when you are playing, uh, when you when you are when you're playing guitar and you're playing any chords, okay, any of them, you know, the things what you want to practice is you don't want to practice. You want to practice playing um, guitar, but by holding your hand down, saying, "Okay, I'm going to play a G chord," and make your gang sign like that's my G chord. All right, I know what this feels like, and that, and you can see, like here it is, like boom, right? All right, there it is, bam. So, uh, you know, D chord, okay? I can make this. There's, that's my D chord. And if I walk around the streets, people are like, what is that guy doing? But you want to be able to know your chords, and the reason being is you you want to get away from walking uh, your chords. You want to get away from the whole like. This 
stuff. You know, you, you want to get away from it. You want to be very, very, as I call it, fluent um, in your chord playing. So what you want to practice doing now, I'll take the first chord and watch this. Let's see, the first open chord that comes, letter, you can say major or minor, um, but we'll see. We'll, we'll test it out. You see what I'm talking about with the gang sign theory. So um, if, give me a chord. Um, I'm, well, I'm not that I'm glad that you're struggling with it now. It could be minor, um, Cody. Um, I'm not that glad that you're struggling with it, but I want to address this issue. Is you know, you need to know how to make your chords midair. All right. Um, is that a B minor? B minor. Okay. So okay. So B minor. First thing. Right. There's my. There's my B minor. And you guys know it. I mean, look at that. That looks like a B minor. And there it is. Right. Boom. Oh. <laughs> if I can get it. There it is. Just the chord. Okay. G minor. This is my. Uh, hold on. G minor. This is my G minor chord. There's my getting sign. G minor chord. There it is. And boom. All right, and so you want to be able to form it midair. B7, oh, that's a good one. Uh, that's my B7, and here it is. All right, and I, you know, you want to be able to walk around all day, and you want to have people think you're crazy because you're walking around going, okay, C, A, G, E, D, B7, B minor, G7, you know, C, uh, B7, <laughs> Lucas. You're too funny, my man. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> um, but anyway, so you want to make sure you want to make sure that you know these chords. And to appease Lucas, there's my gang sign. Okay, so um, E minor. That's easy. E minor. Se <laughs> Wait a second. It's all like Dan Daniel Lane music. Stop. Everybody, stop. <laughs> okay. I know I'm, I'm dressing. Daniel Lane just said E minor seven. Now my question to you is, uh, Daniel, are you are you a genius there, or was that just a random pick? And be honest, because <laughs> that was that was brilliant. I'll talk about why. Um, he said E minor seven, and the gang sign for that is this, right? Because it's just this. <laughs> so I don't know if he wanted me to get it, to flip off everyone, but that actually made me chuckle. So thank you for that. Um, so anyway, the point is, is stop, stop walking your chords. Take a week or two to see if you have it within you to name a chord in your head and get the chord, <laughs> get the chord, that was good, get the chord in your head, you know, here's my minor or major shape depending on B or A string, or A or E string, excuse me, um, here's my seventh chord, minor seventh chord shape, you know, um, you want to be, you, you, you want to get away from walking the chords and the best way to do it is just to hold your hand out, even look in the mirror when you're doing it, you know, I, I can see myself on this camera, so I know I'm doing it, but by feeling, you know, like the G chord, I mean, this is like, that's gangster, right? Boom. Look at that. Boom. C chord. There it is. Boom. There it is. And then a, 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 a subtle shift to an F chord, right? Bam. So let those gang signs, you know, creep into your playing and use them and use them well and, and get on that. Now, we're almost done. Uh, th those are my two little lessons for you today. And now I'm going to tell you the story of Dwayne. Now, before I tell you the story of Dwayne, now we get to have fun. The, 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 um, the lesson portion is over, so if you're going to watch this in the replay, you can, uh, you can go away if you don't want to you know, hear a story. Uh, oh, no, no. Every, uh, who, uh, everyone either... <laughs> do, you, do you walk the chords or do you gang sign them? That's the question. But before we begin, I just want to see... I feel, I feel like uh, one of those hype men. Like, how many of you want to hear a story about a guy named... Dwayne. And uh, somebody said Hendrix Ford, uh, seven short, there it is, like that, like there, watch, ready? Right? There it is, okay, and boom. All right, I can, I can, I can gang sign any chord, um, so you want to get that. So <clears throat> I just want to see who's interested in hearing about Dwayne, because this, this is a good story. And um, I know that if you're watching this in the replay, you're not going to see any of the chat. Um, heck yeah, okay, that's good enough for me. <laughs> All right, so um, when I started uh, Stitch Method, okay, this is a good story. Cody, you're all, you're in this. I can't, <laughs> I can't believe Cody's watching this. Um, all right, so. Um, <laughs> Lucas, you're on fire. All right, so um, I don't know how many months ago, but um, I, I got a form before I started. I got, you know, hella busy uh, teaching online FaceTime uh, from uh, a, a guy named Dwayne. He said, I'm a big fan of Stitch Method, and I want to take personal lessons with you. And um, I had about one slot open and it was Sunday night, like super late. And, um, and I, 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 it was our first lesson and he was just like, so, um, he was so in awe to meet me, which, you know, like he knows now, like we're, we're friends now, but you know, it's very funny cause you get to see, you guys get to see me every week. I don't get to see you and I'm, I'm, I'm just a regular human being. I love teaching guitar, but he was so like, right. When we met, he was so thankful. He's like, you, 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 
you gave me hope to play guitar, and I, I had put the guitar down for many years, and I found one of your Stitch Method videos, and I needed to contact you, and I want to take lessons with you. And I said, okay, that's great, you know. And he's a big fan of um, he he just he he's like any of any of you, he wants to understand how it's all done, like with ease. And so, uh, in talking to him, I think in his first or second lesson, I mean, the guy's a, an awesome guy, uh, he told me that his goal was that there was a music store uh, down the street from him, and he wanted to be in their band. Like, he wanted to be in the music store's band, kind of like a school of rock type thing, but not a school of rock. And I told him, I said, you'll, you'll be there in no time, and you'll, you'll be teaching, right? Like, and he was laughing. I said, you, you, you'll get it. And um, so I've been working with him. Uh, mostly every week, uh, we've had some schedules, and uh, we, you know, good, good guy, good friend, now, and uh, teaching him all the stuff that he needs to know. And I'm in the middle of teaching a lesson last night, and I get this text from Dwayne, dude, can you talk? And I was like, I, I'm, I can't, I'm, uh, I'm teaching, and he's like, okay, you know, let, when, when you're done, and I said, okay. So um, I FaceTimed him, and uh, he went to the music store because I think he had bought something. And he saw a sign for the. Uh, now I might be paraphrasing this. Now, Dwayne, if you're watching this in the replay or if you're live here, you can feel free to co uh, correct me. I'm not going to try and make this any more Hollywoody than it is. But um, they had talked to him and said, "Hey, you know, we're forming that band. If you're interested, and um, how long have you been teaching this guy? Oh, just a f I, maybe five months. May maybe five months. Maybe. And um, <clears throat> and uh, and he's like, "Oh, really? And so." They said, why don't you come up and try out for this band? And he goes up, he, he finally goes upstairs, and he and, and this is afterwards, he, he made a decision to go, and he brings his guitar and his amp, and he goes upstairs, and uh, the person leading the group is his old teacher that he had before me. Now, that's not that's not like a me versus him. Um, no, <laughs> no, Dwayne does not die. Okay, no, Dwayne does not die. Um, this is not a me versus him, it's just that Dwayne started working with me, and his teacher was like, where have you been? And Dwayne was like, oh, I'm just doing some stuff. And, and this teacher, supposedly, like, just, he, you know, he could sense, just like any teacher, like, oh, you bailed on me. So, um, so, <laughs> so the band's playing, and they're, and they're, and they're playing, I think, some ACDC, and they're asking Dwayne to play some chords, hello from Poland, hello Poland, and, um, you know, Dwayne's nervous because it's his first time, and, and he's actually standing where his goal was, right, he's in this band now, and, uh, he, he said, he, he couldn't really figure the chords out, so he said, you know what, why don't you just, just sit down and, and listen. And he said, okay. He was nervous, right? Just like anyone would be. So they're playing ACDC, um, uh, Back in Black, and uh, his amp is off, and he's sitting there, and he's playing, and <laughs> Dwayne does not die. Relax. He's sitting there, and they're playing, and he, Dwayne, picks up his guitar, and he starts noodling on the Never Lost Pentatonic. But not only noodling, he's he's doing everything I, I taught him with chord tones and playing true and, and getting your... your your intent out, and the band kind of stops, and they're like, "Hey, what are you doing?" And he's like, "And Dwayne's like, oh, I'm just, I'm just kind of noodling around." And the teacher's like, "Why, why don't you turn your amp on? Turn your amp on." And um, and so he turns his amp on, and uh, they start playing, and they say, "Want you know, take your solo, take a solo," and he, and he and he starts soloing with his never lost all the stuff that we've been doing, and the teacher <laughs> goes to the lead guitar player of the band and says, "All right, you're playing chords." Dwayne, you're playing lead, you're in the band. And so now, and this is an awesome story, because to me, I took this guy who, who wanted to know what was going on, and his goal was to be in this band. And uh, he went up there and it was like perfectly written. Like, you know, they were like, oh, sit down, you know what you're doing. And he sat down, and he just kind of kept to himself, and he stayed true like, like the Karate Kid. He just sat there, and he was like in Zen, and they noticed it, and they brought him back, and he ripped a solo, and um, he got pushed right there on his first date to the lead guitar player. And um, I was so happy for him, and so I just told him that I would give him mad props um, for being such a dedicated student and um, for, for, for showing you, you know, like, nothing is impossible. And now he's in this band, and he's playing some songs, and he's playing the lead guitar, and he's awesome at it, and he's confident, and it's, and it's uh, just a bravo to Dwayne. So if you're watching this on the replay, just make sure you get a bravo to Dwayne, it's D-U-A-N-E, and that's my story. Um, so, so anyway, so those were the, that, that was the whole spiel. Now, um, now it's just chat time. Let's just sit and chat, and we'll talk. Um, and in case you missed it, yes, my my cat Quinn died and killed me on the inside. But anyway, um, uh, so so there's the story for you. So let's uh, let's have some uh, let's have some t uh, chats. Any questions for? I gotta go. I got like five ten minutes. Who knows? My turn to an hour. But I'm gonna drink some coffee. Um, 
<laughs> Sega Bravo Dwayne. Yeah. Hey, Dean. Um, no, it's okay. No, it's, it's, yeah, it, it sucks. It sucks that, uh, he passed away. That was a good cat. I mean, just to let you know, as you know, um, um, uh, you, you know, the, you probably all know some of it. Like, you know, that, that cat changed my life. He was on a, I was on a game show with him and, uh, and I've had him. I've had him since two thousand and four or three. Can't remember when he was a tiny little kitten. And um, uh, as long as there was a death in the story, <laughs> all the players create die. No, no. Look at Stitch, his wife, uh, scrapbook. Oh yeah, wait, wait. Where's your scrapbooking stuff? You can see it. Is it somewhere? I think it's down there. I thought it was over here. But anyway, I don't know if it's visible. Um, I'll do a blues. Um, blues Mask Class Two is actually uh, well, well, well on its way to being wrapped up. Um, I'll, I'll explain. I, I might have explained it, but like, there's so many bureaucratic things that go into releasing these things on other sites that are not YouTube, and it really like itches me the wrong way. Um, just behind me. Oh, this thing? No, this is not. This is not a spread. Are you talking about this? Is this what you're talking about? Um, this is a. Um, hold on. I'll get this for. It. One of my students, Jeff, who I believe lives in a, over, oh, over my head. Oh, up there. Yeah. Oh, those are all boxes. Those are like half boxes and stuff. I don't know what's in there. I really don't. That, that, that is Jerry Garcia blotter paper right there. And it's blank. Don't worry. Um, so on the rocks and the ceiling, yeah, those are all like hat boxes that I don't think have any, any hats. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> wait, sweetie, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, they want me <laughs> They want me to um open <laughs> open up the boxes and do like grand reveals as to what's in <laughs> these boxes. I'm not gonna do that by the way. I have no idea what's in there, but that's so funny. <laughs> yeah, stay tuned for what's in box number one, right? No, I'm not gonna <laughs> What's in these things? Are you serious? No, we're not gonna do it. <laughs> no, 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 but what's I know there's hats, right? There's hats and there is something on. There's, there's See she hats, she's there, hold on. There's hats, there's gloves, there's hats? there's ties that you never wear a tie. Yeah. Oh, cool! I have ties up there. Um. Big sacks of wheat. No I'm kidding. No I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, that's a... <laughs> different. <laughs> no I'm kidding. It's okay. No, that's it. I can't believe you see that up there. Um, which game show My was it? Was called... wedding dress. Oh yeah, her grandmother's wedding dress. You don't want it anyway. And um. Nothing good. Nothing good. Uh. I mean, of, I mean, of interest. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing up there. There's nothing up there. But um, there you go. So uh. Wear a tie next time. Yeah, I'll just wear this shirt and a tie. Um, do a lesson with the tie. I'll do it. They want me to all wear a tie, so you'll pick out we a tie. Have, we have some Garcia ties. Oh, so. I do have some Jerry Garcia ties. That's right. Okay, how about... Uh, sorry, please tell me about the game show. Okay, I'll tell you guys about the game show. B box one to five pentatonics. Or thank you. Okay, I'm going to get back. Thanks, buddy. Um, uh, the game show. Um, there, there's a... There's a, there's a like a jerk on uh, on YouTube who does a terrible review of it. I don't care. It wasn't... It, I don't care if it was a good or bad game show, but it was called Think Like a Cat and... Um, and it was in 2007 or 2008, and uh, I did win uh, $25,000, and I quit my job, and I opened up Sarasota Guitar Lessons, and all that money's gone, you know, I mean, like, it's, it, um, can you use that Mixadorian scale with G and F chord impression? Yeah, you can, you, you absolutely can, that's more, that's more of a, uh, um, a, a better progression for it, you know. <laughs> Absolutely, you can de you can definitely do that. No problem. G and F with the Mixodorian, tight, tight. So that that's the game show. Um, and Blues Master Class Two, like you gotta understand, like I know it's like nine months later, right? But you have to understand this is like it has form four and form five. Um, it has some. Uh, hey, here's some common moves in the blues, and it also is going to have two episodes of write the song with Stitch and we're going to write some blues things together and you're going to see how, like all that knowledge that you gathered and working uh, in a blues song that I will compose uh, for you and you'll play along and you'll learn you'll learn a, um, a custom blues song can you play the chord progression eyes of the world I haven't played it um, uh, actually hold on uh, do, you have, do you have a computer I I, I, I um <laughs> Something like that. I, I I haven't done that in a while. Um, I, I'm I'm out of it. I, I honestly, by the way, after that surgery, I really I forgot. I, like my mind is not working the same way it used to. So whatever. I I love the surgery. Um, in the kajis, but because of the ease of play with all pull-ups. Yes, most of the stuff you'll find bluegrass is in the key of G. But even if it's not in the key of G, they'll use capos to make it G, C's, and D, so that the scales become those open chords. Um, you know, the, I'm sorry, those scales become those open strings. 
I don't really finger pick a lot. Um, I, I mean, I can. I just don't. I can do it um, out of necessity, but I, I'm, 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 a, I'm a picker by trade. I've always been a picker by trade. Uh, what other questions do you have? Any questions? Any questions? Uh, it's good to talk to you guys, get my mind off of all this stuff. How do you memorize scales? Any tips? I'm burnt. Well, uh, Jeff, memorizing scales. Um, hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna address. Sorry, I'm just gonna address je, um, parts and pickups so that you know. No, I don't. Um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna address <laughs> Jeff for a second. Jeff, what kind of scales are you trying to memorize? That's that's the question. Um, uh, they, well, because uh, sorry, while Jeff is answering, somebody said, "Why are there hardly any minor chords?" There are. You'll find some minor chords in some like darker bluegrass, a mixolydian. All right. Well, Jeff, um, I'm gonna ask Jeff one more question. Jeff, do you know your major scale? Oh, brown eyed woman, yeah. Um, you know your major scale in different positions? Well, if you want to learn Mixolydian, it's just, I mean, like, you got to understand it's all tweaks of the same scale, so if you have your major, your Mixolydian is just the same thing with the flat seven. And the thing is, is you want to know those intervals. You got to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, or one, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven. Okay, that's my Mixolydian. One, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven, one. And it takes some time, but you got to, don't, don't, the, um, don't put some don't put all the weight on the fact uh once can I play can I play Mixolydian well oh, so this guy says can you play Mixolydian all over the scale all, all over the neck in one, in one time and I can but the thing is it's just it's just the major scale like if I play a G major scale no if I play a C major scale right um that's really a G Mixolydian because C D E F G that's the same exact scale so you know if I can play a C major scale Uh, <laughs> now it all sounds it all sounds like major, but if I just focus on the fifth note, that's how you get mixolydian. So I did hear C right, C major, same as G mixolydian. Yes, yes, it is. Uh, it's all the same stuff. I mean, that's how easy music is. Is much, 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 much easier. Um, yes, it's much easier than uh, than you think it is. I learned most scales by three notes per string pattern. I have difficulty figuring out where to start the scale. Um, Three notes per string. I'm gonna go on record saying I, I can hate that thing. I hate that thing. That I mean, um, I, I you have to know it, but you that it's more for speed, and and it's not for playing. It's more for speed. If I were you, you know, I don't I, I don't know who's who that was. Um, <laughs> I, I I really wouldn't know. Once in a while, maybe. Um, uh, the thing is, is um, see, I don't know where I, where I was. Um, three notes per string. You, you got. You gotta, you gotta know your major scales. That's it. The major scale is every mode. So if you know the major scale, um, <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm trying to read. Um, you gotta know your major scales. Those are the any major scale is a mode, you know. That and, and so um, instead of trying to learn seven different scales, like just learn one scale and realize that you can start it on any note, and that's a mode. And I can, I can do more of that stuff. I know that a lot of you are interested in modes. Um, I haven't played. So, uh, oh yeah, thank you. Um, you know, I was I was just teaching. Uh, 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 hold on. Yeah, and then that was the intro of the Barton Hall thing. Like. brown-eyed woman for you um yeah so uh any other questions really quickly yeah I'm, I'm just in, i'm just in this fog i'm in a fog and that's that's what happens when you lose an awesome cat man that guy was good all right uh tips for solo the depression ain't no sunshine when she's gone oh uh i was just teaching that um a a minor well, well the, give me the give me the chord progressions um a minor um uh boom. ain't no sunshine when she's gone right Uh, no, it's 
on too long. The A minor, da da, gone away. Um, honestly, I, I would just I would stick an A minor pentatonic, and I'd be hitting you know the A on the A, the G on the G, and the E on the E. And if you want to get fancy, hit the minor third, the A on the A minor, hit the major third of the G, which is the B. And that's not that's not going to be oh there there's there's the harmonic. Um, uh, you hit the hit the major third on the uh, of the of the G, which is the B, and then you can hit the minor third of the um of the E minor, which is the G. Uh, on that uh, on that note. See and boom. Oh, A G. Yeah, I would just stick to A minor and I would follow those chord tones and be solid as uh, as solid as a rock in my opinion. I'm sure there'd be more to do. Uh, and I'm going to go in a couple more minutes, but you know, I, f I feel like I haven't seen you guys. Let's ask some more questions and, and we'll talk. Um, nice. Listen to John Mayer playing it. Oh, John Mayer's line on that is, is crazy. Uh, so hit the tonics third. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. Oh, you did it. You did, you just did it right there. You just actually played along with me. That's great. Um, yeah. You know, um, I don't know how far people are watching this into, uh, the replay, but, um, you know, when you, um, I have to, I have to, oh, hey, hey, Cody again. Um, you know, here's the deal. Now, Cody Cook, you probably saw Cody on um, on Sean Daniels' uh, channel. Um, I did have a, a brief breakfast with him back in Sarasota when uh, he visited. But a, a very true musician, a very good musician, um, great thinker and great player. And what I say is, like, you know, if you're playing a major chord, that major third is the most important note in your, in your melody um, because it's it's what defines that chord being major and if you have a minor chord the minor third is um, quite important to, to nail um, to, to, to bring the flavor of the chord into your um, um, into your playing so you know you want to be very 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 on top of what chord am I playing especially what type of chord is it a major or minor don't worry about any of the chord extensions just yet but um no, this is full caffeine. I'll be I'll be sleeping by nine thirty. Don't worry. I just needed. I had a headache. I've been I've been stressed out the past couple of days, and I've had this headache, and nothing seems to take care of it. So, anyway, um, other than major mixolydian, what else should you be using to learn Aeolian? Um, yeah, you want to learn minor. Which you prefer? Lots of notes in the solo or more minimalistic? I like a balance. Um, I like you know you, you want to be like a steady like jogger, but when you need to sprint, you can sprint. Uh, where do I sign up for live lessons? Clay, I wish um, you can email me at stitchmethod at gmail.com, but I have, I, have a, I have a huge waiting list now, and I feel so bad. I, I do. I'm trying to come up with a better plan. Um, hey, Jonathan, how are you? I was just, I, Jonathan right there, uh, thank you. Um, I was just teaching him live last night. He's in Seattle, and he was uh, FaceTiming and showing me the insane, awesome weather. I actually like rainy, windy weather. Is it better today, John? Um, hey, Jared. Gang signs and Dwayne uh, sounds like a great <laughs> gang signs. Great, it, it's good. I don't know how much you've seen. Um, you're the man. Love the in the mind of greatest YouTube. Oh, thank you, thank you very much, Cecil. I, I appreciate that. I try. Um, you know, it's really funny. The one thing that uh, I'm gonna... uh, Dwayne, there's Dwayne. That's Dwayne right there. Dwayne Wells. Everyone, if you've been watching, that is the Dwayne. You're the man. You, I, don't, I don't know how. I don't know how long it took you <laughs> to come on, Dwayne. But that's Dwayne right there. That's the guy who I started teaching. And we got him uh, a lead guitar player spot in his local band, Dwayne the Legend, right there. Everyone say hi to him. This guy is one of the nicest guys in the world. He has such a, such a passion for playing, and he's doing something he's always wanted to do, to do and, and, and that is the man. And so uh, there you go. Dwayne, I already told your story, buddy, so um, you're going to have to live up to it. Um, he, what, what's really cool is he did promise me that when he – goes to play on stage. There it is. It's a true story. I could not have done it without you, bro. Thank you. Thank you, Dwayne. But the one cool thing is that he said he was going to wear some Stitch Method t-shirts on stage. That's going to be awesome. <laughs> I'm so glad I stuck around. I'm glad I stuck around and see Dwayne. Now, um, honestly, and just to let you know, all of you, all, all of you can, can be, um, do you have contact info on YouTube? God. <laughs> Sorry. All these phone calls. Sorry, I got all these phone calls that come in. I forgot to turn my uh, my phone on airplane mode. So just let me know you're still with me before I keep talking to no one. Because, um, uh, yeah, I died and came back. Okay, so um, 
if you want Stitch Method t-shirts, just go to stitchmethod.com. You can get them. You can wear my face. Um, you, 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 you can wear my face on your body. Why would you do that? I don't know. Uh, hey, Gloria. Uh, Gloria, I got your um, your uh, either email or comment. I can't remember. I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, I'm so um, honored to be a part of your journey. Now, now I know that a lot of you are here that you, you love learning and... Um, and I love being a part of it. And just let you know, Dwayne, let Dwayne's story be an inspiration um, to all of you because he um, he sat, he studied, he played, it made sense. You know, all of us, me included, all of us, we always want to get better, better, and better. But, like, don't be afraid to really look at how much you know um, or your face on vacation in Phoenix last week. Yes, Dean, representing the st <laughs> You guys are insane, and it's so funny. Um uh, what's your best modern blues player? Let me tell you, uh, I don't know, well, John Mayer, yeah, but I mean, I've been getting, I mean, Gary Clark Jr., because of Cody, Cody Cook was like, you gotta listen to that guy, and I was like, alright, cool, I mean, that guy's awesome, um, don't know much, I don't know much about that, so I'm sorry, I really don't listen to a ton of music, as, uh, people who are close to me know, um, I sit and I just study guitar all day, I'm more of a problem solver on this instrument, um, what about Stitch Method Pants? That's good, <laughs> <laughs> my, uh, Lucas, you made you made my uh, you made, you made my uh, my wife laugh. Um, uh, sorry. Oh, you know, hold on. Somebody, somebody, for this, I brother, I, I screwed this up on. I, hold on. Uh, yeah, this is. I, 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 I'm gonna screw it up. But like. Oh yeah, it's no. Yeah, I forgot the chords, but Crazy Fingers, of course. And last, last time I brought it up, and I was like, I can't remember it. Uh, again, it might have been from the anesthesia. Um, what picks do you use? Okay, so the question is, what picks... Does anybody know the answer to what picks I use? Because I say it all the time. Uh, anybody know? An anybody know what kind of picks I use? Let's see. <laughs> Let's see, anybody? No, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Uh, the kind of picks I use. See, no one knows. So here's the answer. Ready? Here, there in my hand. Um, <laughs> any... <laughs> Any kind. I don't give a crap. I don't. They need to be. They need to be at least, at least of like a point nine six. No, no, a point eight. A point eight or thicker. You know, they can be celluloid or they can be. They can be rough. I. I don't give a hoot. I just like them thick, so I can actually like get my uh. Get <laughs> point eight three. Um. You know, I just like a nice thick pick, man. It helps me like play with a little bit of a uh, oomph, especially when I'm playing the um. When I'm playing um acoustic, you can get you can get a good amount of like. Thunder, so my wife really likes the Stitch Method pants idea. So we'll, we'll do that. Um, uh, I don't know who that is, but uh, get them in touch. I'll collab. I love collaborations. I do, I and mean, that's that's like my favorite thing in the world is uh, you know putting two things together. Um, any other questions? Uh, this is this is fun. This is getting my mind off of uh, uh, of um, stuff, and I appreciate you guys being around. So um, again, um, you know Mixodorian Blues. Um, watch uh, Daryl H. Oh hey buddy. Daryl, that's Daryl, Daryl H. See, this is what's amazing me. That's Daryl. I'm Daryl. How are you? That's the guy who designed all the graphics for my um, shirts and mugs. And everyone say hi to Daryl. And if you want to design some Stitch Method pants, Daryl, we'll do it. We will do it. You guys are all all too kind. Um, <laughs> Gangster Paradise. I haven't. No. Um, Daryl is the man. Okay. Best amplifier. You know that that's. I, I'm a big fan. Um, it's just black coffee. Um, yeah, Daryl. Daryl stuff is awesome. Oh, good Dwayne. <laughs> Dwayne, you're so funny. Um, so, what the heck was I about to say? Um, amps. Uh, you know, um, of, of, <laughs> you know what? For Halloween next year, sweetie, we're gonna, we're gonna do a whole stitch bodysuit. That's what it's gonna be for <laughs> next year for Halloween. Um, listen, Rob. Uh, Cumberland Blues. Um, I can't. Is it a? No, no. What, what? It's so funny. What Grateful Dead song can I play off the top of my head? I, I don't know many. Oh, you know what? Somebody asked, but, you know, a great, a great song, um, you, uh, come on, you know, like, uh, hold on, uh, jeez, Louise, hold on.
and uh, oh my god, um. Oh. Um, anyway, so, uh, <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm out of it. Well, listen, guys, all, all you guys are, um, all you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for being here. Um, yeah, 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 there's a Dominant 9, Dominant 13, it, it, yeah, absolutely. Um, whoa. Wait, Juan. What was that? Wait, why, why are you laughing? <laughs> are you laughing? <laughs> My wife's laughing at something. Some, wait, did you just, are you watching me? Did you just comment on my own channel? Okay, cool. I know. I <laughs> dig a pony. That's me. That's my wife. She's now on the chat. Good job. <laughs> uh, Ian, and Sh Ian and Sean on the lawn. Yeah, my wife is a. She's not a troll, but she's trolling my channel right now. She wants me to play "Dig a Pony" by the Beatles, and I, I, it's it's not my favorite song. I'm sorry, but she loves it. Um, Stitch and Roy trolls are the best. You're trolled by your own bride. She's sitting right there. You can hear her laughing. <laughs> so funny. Oh my god. Um, what Beatles songs? I mean, like. Uh, anyway, but, um, no, not Dig a Pony, but, uh, what other, what other songs are playing this acoustic I haven't played in a while? Like, um, well, there's, anybody know this song? Oh, wait, somebody just said something that was really good. What, what, what did that person just say? Um, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, um. like this okay uh hey mike dude how have you been mike i haven't seen you in a while uh that's awesome um sweetie mike's the flute player all just right. like, yes all right so now my wife's gonna like this ready <clears throat> can anybody name this famous chord if you want to hear it again let me know that's a little riddle for you mm -hmm. Kind of off topic, but which model period? Uh, it's an SE soap bar custom. Uh, oh, yeah, look at you see that, sweetie? Yeah. You see how good their ears are? That's right. Hard day's night. Uh, it's an F add nine. Okay, so that's that's the famous chord. F F chord add nine. Add that G right there, and you just play it around. You walk around the street, and you go. You <laughs> start singing. It's a hard day's night. Um, let's see. Uh, C diminished seven. No, F add nine. So so in the movie theater. Nice. Very cool. Go full G. Um, what what uh what songs um I I, I know. songs uh I, I i haven't played songs in like three weeks and so my brain is all shot um anyway but i'm really in a beatles kick um till there was you uh ch -ch -ch hide your love away oh wait uh what is that um what is the uh song that um uh, what's that song that i was playing that like in, in the den um it's your favorite b-side sweetie sorry look at everybody uh oh from the devil i, I played from the devil um ch -ch 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 -ch. 
No, oh, yes, no, thank you, thank you, Sol uh, Lucas, yes. Uh. That's a good exercise. It's a very good exercise. Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm tired and I'm toast. But anyway, thank you all for being here. This is so cool. Um, <laughs> the stitch <laughs> on the acoustic. Well, that was bad harmonic. There it is. Um, let's see. Excellent, excellent. All right, guys. Oh, band on the run. The one thing about band on the run that I love. Um, uh, 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 something like that, right? Then it's like, and that's all good. But like the the. Uh, Awesome, man. That part is so good. Uh, but I haven't played stuff in a while. Anyway, guys, have a good night. Good night, good night, good night, good night, good night, good night, good night. Good to see you all. Thank you for my wife for trolling the channel. Blues Masterclass 2. Uh, it's coming out soon. I, I, my, my wife knows that it's coming out soon. Trust me. Don, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, cheers. Um, Mike, good to see you. Dwayne, you did awesome. Watch the replay. Uh, Tom, good to see you. Dean, good to see you. Uh, these, are, these are all the <laughs> people who I like, contact or are in contact with me. Everyone. Rock and roll, uh, Dan Daniel, uh, Court, Gary, Dan oh yeah, good night, um, you're awesome, and Dan, uh, <laughs> Dan, you're so funny, good night, good night, good night, everyone, uh, good night, uh, you guys are awesome, I'm gonna go to bed, after I just drank some caffeinated coffee, alright guys, I'll see you next week in another video, bye bye.